want to run right now. Because I don't know about you all, but, you know, I was going through some things. Amen. I'm pressing for God's blessing. Amen. But there's some things, some weight that he placed on my shoulders. And I'm like, God, I can't do it without your people. God, I need your people. God, you're going to have to give favor. You're going to have to send some help. Come on now, somebody. In the name of Jesus. Hey, the little shot. My God. And so as I'm praying and I'm pressing forward to, to get things in strategic order to help the people of God, amen, God has already placed in my spirit that collaboration is going to be the key to us all prospering. We can't do it without, we can't do it by ourselves, amen. The time for the Lone Ranger, listen, that's behind, amen. God always works in twos, amen. He always uses his people, amen, amen, and his collaboration is working together, it's partnership. And so what he's called us to do as in, in this group is, is, is to unite, to work together, used to be used for the kingdom of God. And so as I'm pressing forth, and it seems like sometimes you by yourself, come on out somebody, I'm not talking to, by, my, I'm not talking by myself, because I'm talking to those of you that's in ministry, those of you that have a business, those of you that have the spirit of living God. You understand what I'm saying, amen? It's not something that we just go through sometimes, but many of us go through that walk and that journey, amen? But we know without a shadow of doubt that we're not alone, amen? We, we, we're not alone, amen? God didn't create us to be alone, amen? That's why he cre created Adam and Eve, amen? Listen, he understood that it was not good for man to be alone in the name of Jesus, my God, my God. Amen, yes, my sister, yes, Lord, please send us some help. And guess what? What God was saying, the help is already here. Listen, y'all better catch this. Listen, y'all, the help is already here. But sometimes the help think that they are least. Amen. Sometimes they think that they're not necessary. Amen. Sometimes they think that they're not wanted. Amen. And, and that's the farthest from the truth. Amen. Because the body of Christ cannot function without you properly. Yeah, you can see some ministry going forward, but they can't work. Listen, the, listen, let me let me go back to the word. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to the word for a moment. I read first Corinthians um, chapter 12, verse 20 through 27. That was a scripture that I read. It says, as it is, there are many parts but one body the eye cannot say to the hand i don't need you do you hear that i don't you, you the eye the, uh, the the eye can't say to the hand i don't need you and the head cannot say to the feet i don't need you it says on the contrary those parts of the body that seems to be weaker are indispensable my god my god my god you are indispensable. Those that think that they're weaker, those that think that they're, they're, they, they, they don't have the gifts, they don't have the talent, maybe they don't have enough scripture, uh, maybe they ain't went to Bible scholar, maybe you don't have these scholarships and all this other stuff going on, a scholar and stuff like that. But you are needed in the body of Christ. You are needed today in the name of Jesus, my God, my God. You are indispensable. Do you hear that today? So never degrade the gifts that God has placed on the inside of you because he already know who you are. Amen. He knew who you were before you was in your mother's womb, before he created you in your mother's womb. He, he, he fastened you. He put you, he put you together. He gave you the gifts. He gave you the talents. Amen. He gave you, he made you who you are. Don't think that because your circumstances and your situation makes define you. Listen, your situation, your circumstance, your bank account do not define you. Amen. Not when you have God because the one that created you, listen, listen, he's unmeasurable. My God. Amen. He, you, you, can't, you can't even describe God with one word. And when that, when that, when he lives on the inside of you, do you hear me today? When he lives on the inside of you, when you abide in him, he abide in you. Amen. And so if he lives on the inside of you, my sisters, you are indispensable. You are peace. You got a peace of God on the inside of you. And that way, so his whole body, then when you put that whole body together, this, like it says, listen, one piece can't say to the other piece that you're not needed. You're not necessary. Because all parts of the body, all parts of the body is necessary for the body to properly do what it's been called to do. 
I can function with two eyes. I can function with one eye, should I say. But I can see better with two. Do you hear me? I may be able to live and do some things with one hand. Amen. Amen. But I'm better with two. My God, my God. Y'all, I, 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 listen, I, I don't even know what God was going, but he said to me, and he allowed me to see that they were indispensable was needed today. Somebody need to know that you are indispensable. The people may try to throw you to the side because you don't have the popularity, because you ain't known, because you may not have the finances. You may not have the resources, but baby, listen, let me tell you, when you, when you begin to use what you got, amen, you use what God has given unto you. Listen, listen, somebody don't have that. Somebody don't have the knowledge. Somebody don't have the resources. Somebody ain't went through what you went through. Amen. They may have went through a piece of it, but they ain't went through all the day that, that what you have gone through. And so what I know for a fact that when you love the Lord, listen, all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and to them that are the called. Right. And so if you love him, listen, all that that you went through, all them situations, all them circumstances. Amen. Even your lack. Amen. All of that works together for the good. Amen. And so he wants to use that for the good for his body. My God. Oh, Jesus. He wants to use it for his body. So I just stopped by today. Amen. To let you know that you are necessary. And, and, and indispensable means absolutely necessary. Somebody going to put that. You are absolutely necessary. My God. You are needed. Don't let the enemy make you think, amen, that you, you, you are, you, um, that you are indispensable. Amen. Like they can get rid of you. Amen. Because you are indispensable. In, uh, how do I want to say indispensable? That means that, that mean you are, you are absolutely necessary. Amen. You are needed. It, it can't function right without you. Come on out, somebody. Absolutely necessary. That's the word. Amen. You are absolutely necessary, my sisters. My God, my God. Listen, I'm not even on my Facebook page, y'all. I don't got all off. I'm all on another page and oh, something like that. But glory be to God. So I want to pray for you today. I want to pray for you today, my sisters. I want you to know today that you are necessary and that you are needed and that you are not forgotten about. You're not forgotten about. God see you in the late midnight hour. He see you crying out. Come on now, somebody. You thinking nobody see me. God, where is my help? God, how am I going to do this? Do you not know that one moment in the presence of God can change your life? Listen, he can do what he can do in one moment. Then we, we, we can't do it. We, we've been grinding and, and working our hard. Listen. One moment in the presence of God can change your life. My God, my God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I don't know who you are today. And I don't know what you've been going through. And I don't know your situation. And I don't know your circumstance. But I'm here today to say that you are absolutely necessary. That you are indispensable. Amen. That you are needed in for the body of Christ. So don't you devalue your Purpose, don't you devalue your what God has called you to do? Don't you devalue yourself? Amen. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Because God word says that you are indispensable. Hey. 